is demand forecasting. Demand forecasting uses predictive analysis to understand and predict customer's demand for a product or service over a period of time. Through demand forecasting, businesses can optimize supply chains by predicting future sales by using historical sales data to make informed business decisions about everything from inventory planning and warehousing needs to running flash sales and meeting customer expectations. Demand forecasting helps the business make better informed supply decisions that estimate the total sales and revenue for a future period of time. With demand forecasting, you can answer these important questions. How many units of inventory do I need to have on hand to be at full stock for each SKU? How often do I project to replenish inventory? How will these projections change over time? And where do I expect to be a year from now? Without demand, there is no business. And without a thorough understanding of demand, businesses aren't capable of making the right decisions about marketing spend, production, staffing, and more. Here is why demand forecasting is so important. It helps you prepare a budget. Demand forecasting helps reduce risk and make efficient financial decisions that impact profit margins, cash flow, operating costs, staffing, overall spend, and more. All strategic and operational plans are formulated around forecasting demand. It helps you plan and schedule production. Demand forecasting lets you provide the products your customers want when they want them. Forecasting demand requires that order fulfillment is synced up with your marketing prior to launching. Nothing kills progress or your reputation faster than being sold out for weeks on end. Proper demand forecasting and inventory control can help ensure a business doesn't buy insufficient or excessive inventory. It helps with storing inventory. Demand forecasting can help you spend less money on both inventory purchase orders and warehousing as the more inventory you carry, the more expensive it is to store. Good inventory management involves having enough product on hand, but not too much. And lastly, it helps you develop a pricing strategy. Demand forecast isn't just about perfecting a business's production schedule to supply demand, but it also should help price products based on the demand. Understanding the market and potential opportunities businesses can grow, formulate competitive pricing, employ the right marketing strategies, and invest in their growth. There are four types of demand forecasting, number one being macro level. Macro level demand forecasting looks at general economic conditions, external forces, and other broad things disrupting commerce. These factors keep a business in the know around portfolio expansion opportunities, market research entail, and other shifts in the market. Number two is micro-level demand forecasting, which can be specific to a particular industry, business, or customer example. An example of this is examining demand for natural deodorant for millennial customers in Chicago. Number three is short term, which is usually done for a time period of less than 12 months. It looks at demand for under a year of sales to inform the day to day. Example of this is planning production needs for Black Friday and Cyber Monday promotions. And number four is long term, which is done for greater than a year. This helps identify and plan for seasonality, annual patterns, production capacity, and expansion over a long period of time. This drives long-term business strategy, so planning to launch a facility or store internationally and expand into new markets. Here's an example of demand forecasting. An up-and-coming direct-to-consumer cosmetics brand is growing quickly. Currently, they're selling 10,000 orders per month. Based on their past sales data, upcoming ad campaigns, and general market conditions in the industry, they plan to be above 30,000 orders per month at this time next year. Right now, they're stocking a total of 75,000 units at varying levels across their five SKUs. Their order volume fluctuates quite a bit based on their replenishment cycle, and they restock each SKU at a rate of about every 90 days. The average units they store will grow quickly while the cadence will remain the same. The last run of their main SKU was 30,000 units. They're about to ship in another 50,000 units, and their next run will be 75,000 units. 
They plan to continue to grow at that pace, so they are looking into whether they should purchase land, lease a warehouse, or outsource fulfillment to keep up with demand. Now that you know more about what demand forecasting is, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get notified when our next video is released. Our next video will teach you how to forecast demand in four easy steps and the factors influencing the customer demand lifecycle.